I put this show up um, a few times, and uh, it's it's a living and breathing thing, right? I mean, in, in acting, there's a thing called moment to moment, right? Where you it's with another actor, but actually that exists like with the audience as well. I mean, it's a living and breathing entity that's reacting to you, and with hopefully in acting, you know, you're responding to something naturally. And, uh, but it, I mean, it's beautiful. <laughs> it's addicting. So, I mean, I've run this show so many times alone and then you get it in front of people and it's just, uh, it's incredible. I think there's this uh, participation. There's this dual participation on the audition, on, on the, um, the audience's side, as well as a performer. And there's this, um, feeding that we do with each other that is just not replicable on film and TV. Um, I know with my um, show that I'm doing, there is a lot of like um, recall that I do with the audience. And, you know, I really feel like with the theater, you take an audience on a journey, you know, and they really um, feel invested in going with you on that journey. And I'm kind of one of those typical LA persons that's into like, you know, vibes and all of that. Um, and I just really believe that, you know, when you're together, there's something that, there's some participatory, participatory uh, wavelength that just happens that creates magic that is new every time. And I just love that. Well, I have to say I have huge imposter syndrome talking about theater because I really consider myself like, or in my brain, I think of myself as being like a performer first maybe. Um, but I guess like that is the secret of theater is like it's live performance. Um, that things can go horribly detrimentally wrong in theater in a way that like they can't in film because it's, you know, already like been it's cut, it's finished, the, the cut is finished. Um, and theater, like every single time you get up there, like you could totally botch the whole fucking thing. It could be so embarrassing. Um, and I really like that about live performance. I think there's something about it. Like I never in my life would ever go skydiving, but, um, that same kind of adrenaline rush that I imagine people get from like life threatening activities, I get from getting on stage because I, you know, hate to be in danger. So um, I think for a performer and for the person on stage, it's really, really vulnerable. It's a really large risk. And then you get to feel really proud of yourself afterward for taking such a big risk. Um, and you also get to look at people in the face when you are talking to them. Um, but from a really different perspective than if you're in a conversation. I think that I'm a very, in some ways, a very different person when I'm performing. And even like right now, giving an interview that I am when I'm like by myself. Um, so I think that's, that's what's so special about live performance to me from like a performing perspective. And then from an audience perspective, like, you know, going to see live anything with a friend or like, you know, with a group of people, like those are the shows that I talk about. I don't usually have like crazy memories from going to see movies with friends. I usually have crazy stories from like crazy shows, also bad shows. I love going to see bad shows. Like there's something so fun about being in the audience and being like, this is like a real life experience that I just had, um, which is, yeah, it's just, it feels very different. It's much more vulnerable. It's much more like risky, I think. Um, and I think that's what makes it really, really fun. Why is the theater experience so unique as opposed to other um, art forms that we may uh, experience collectively? Well, one, for one thing, is the most obvious, it's the immediacy. Um, as opposed to film, I look at film, when I look here, uh, you know, a movie star or a director talk about what they do. It's always about what they did, what they've done. It's nothing that's, there's nothing immediate happening. It's something in the past. Whereas when you experience a play, I mean, you're right there. You're right there. You know, you can actually have eye contact um, with the people performing. And um, you actually feel more of a responsibility as audience. You know, you see how your reaction 
uh, can influence a production. I've seen it, you know, when, uh, when, when you've got a responsive audience, all of a sudden the work is better. Um, whereas a, a play, a film, I love it. You know, we all love movies. Um, but a place, a film is kind of dead. You know, it's done. It's in the, it's in the can, I guess, as they say. And there's nothing going to change that. Uh, whereas uh, theater, I'm sure everybody will tell you, anybody you interview, will say every night is different. It doesn't matter how many times you rehearse. Um, this show is not going to be like the next one. Um, and some, you know, I guess one of the keys, one of the things that we try to uh, master, although it's impossible, is, you know, trying to overcome that, trying to, you know, um, just gain control of the, of the performance. But it can't be done. You know, and that's what makes it magic. I, I think the thing that makes the, the theater experience so much more different and so, uh, something that I prefer is because it, there is, you know, with, with you know, television, with, with film, uh, most of the music that we get in, there's something in between us and the art. But with theater, there's nothing in between. There's no pane of glass. So you can give yourself over to theater much more easily. You know, with theater, you, you know, even though I'm a theater tech, you don't even really need a set to do a great theater piece. You can have blocks and people will just give that to you. And, and, and yeah, that's, it, you can have such magic on the day that's never going to be repeated. And every performance is different. And, and it, it, theater is just alive in a way that, that can't be replicated. From, from an audience's perspective, um, I think when you're being told a story, it re requires some kind of suspension of disbelief, you know, in the sense that what is happening is not literally happening in somebody's real life uh, right in front of you. Uh, but I think for theater, uh, that bargain is a little bit different than it is uh, in film and television, you know, and I think it's a much more uh, direct connection you're asking the audience to make both to you uh, and to the material, uh, but because of that, you can um, you can do some some things that are less literally believable, but more emotionally evocative in the theater than you could get away with uh, than you could get away with on screen. And I find that really powerful, uh, and and also just the feeling of uh, being in a room with a group of people, and you know you're all experiencing this story together. Um, I, I think that's really powerful as well. Yeah, I think what makes theater such a different um, experience than when you watch a movie or, you know, watch TV, it's, um, it is that live, um, that live experience, you know, that it's happening right in front of you. Something could go wildly wrong. Something, you know, something completely unexpected can happen. And that's um, that's what makes it so exciting. That's what makes it so different because you know you you watch a movie and there's this is something that that had, has already happened, you know. But you're actually in it when you're watching a play. Theater is unique because it's live. You know, it's live and it's it's life happening right in front of your eyes. You know, and and there's no going back if you make a mistake you have to you just have to keep going or make it part of the show and that connection that you feel with with the audience um or the connection they feel with you which i guess it would be the case in live streaming right like um you they may not necessarily be there but there's definitely an audience watching you on the other side and and they're being affected by what you're doing um so that part of it is what's so unique to me. And, and also, you know, every performance is different. So you, you, everyone has different reactions, different nights. So it, it's never the same, you know, it's, it, it's live. It's, and that's, and that's pretty much it. Life is unpredictable. I, I think the big part is that it's live. Um, you know, it's a living, breathing entity. And um, with film, you have something in the can, you know, uh, you're, you have that distance a little bit because of the camera, but with theater, it's just, you're out there and you're, you're breathing and you're live in the moment, anything can happen. Um, and I think for the audience, it's a really, um, it's a different kind of experience to have other human beings up there with you. 
Um, and, and knowing that it's that live quality, knowing that it's, you know, uh, another human being is up there breathing and, and anything can happen, that immediacy of the possibility of anything happening. And, I, and I've tried to do in my career of, as a director to try to break that wall as much as possible. Um, so that there's so much less distance between uh, performer and audience because it's a, it's a symbiotic relationship. You can't have one without the other. Um, so I really love when you're able to um, feel that kind of tribal quality of, of uh, connection between audience and performer. And maybe that line kind of disappears a little bit. I think for a lot of reasons, one, just the ephemeral nature of theater, I think, any theater artist will tell you that that really is what makes theater so special. The fact that it is performer and audience experiencing moments as they happen in real life and as they pass in real life. Uh, you experience live interactions, live actions, live reactions that are there for a second then go. And that's beautiful. Um, you know, on Netflix you can rewind, you can go to a movie, movie theater and, and rewatch a movie, but you never get the same performance twice. Um, and then I also think that that experience of performer and audience in the same space uh, creates a really magical experience for both audience and performer. Uh, because the line between show and audience can be blurred and the lines between reality and unreality are blurred and uh, the suspension of disbelief of course goes so much further in theater than it does in film uh, so you can have elements of magical realism or fourth wall breaking um, enter a theatrical space in ways that you can't in any other medium um, and really start to imitate the human imagination um, in really limitless ways. Once you once you unlock uh, what a theatrical space can hold and what kind of stories can be told in it, uh, I think you really open the door for uh, really visceral and pure expressions of uh, human emotion and human interaction. I can say this from my experience last night at the preview, what I find with the theater, the live theater experience is the, 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 the theater is dark, the audience is waiting, they can actually viscerally feel the emotions of the storyteller as opposed to watching Netflix or being cooking a, a pie. So the theater still has a sacred ancient caveman type <laughs> listening to stories on the wall around a campfire. So I feel that's a powerful way to share stories in the theater. And I want theater to survive. I believe uh, this is Lenny. I, I believe theater is it's vulnerable in a way that other mediums are. And Lori and I were talking about this in comparison to film. With film, you can make mistakes and then take another another shot, make another edit, do the video over. But on theater, um, all of you is just on display on the stage, whether things go right or things go wrong, the audience is there on the journey with you. And so the audience gets to go on this little roller coaster ride of experiencing what the actors are experiencing as well and having the power of lights, set design, um, music, like all of these elements that bring the story to life in the theater is very unique. The theater experience is it's so unique watching it, watching your work and watching your words being said by anybody else is always this crazy, beautiful moment uh, because it, it's out of your hands and it's into the artist's hands and it's what they do with it that brings that story to life. And Andrew Cervantes, who wrote Cheater, I feel like he would be a really cool one to talk about this too because he says it, it's it's unreal it, it, that's the best way to put it it's like you just you just let it go and then you let others play with it and there there's a uh, half of mayhem's dialogue is my own writing and and it's always so crazy 
to watch people say what you wrote <laughs> and, uh, and use it in their own language, which is a beautiful thing. And then on the opposite side, acting people's words is, there's something about it. There's a, it's that instant connection that you make to whatever dialogue is there that's so personal to yourself. That's what makes artistry so broad and so beautiful is there's no right way to do something. And there's uh, an infinite amount of possibilities that go with creation. So I don't know. I think both sides have their own like, ooh, gratuitous that's so exciting and so uh, unique and so beautiful that it's, uh, it's a pleasure to be on both ends of it. I really love it. 